Chapter 51 Cousins you are listening at novelfull.audio. Dot Song Jiaren looked Xia Shibei from head to toe with a calculating glance, seeing no signs of anger in her. You really aren't mad. If someone had said things like that about her, she would have beaten them to death by now. I'm really not, Xia Shibei's eyes gleamed with a smile. Their opinions are irrelevant. Compared to being abused by netizens in her past life and the misery of being cursed and boycotted, their words were a piece of cake to deal with. Song Jiaren looked at her with a frown, seemingly exasperated by her indifference. You will be bullied to death if you continue this way. Right. If you weren't there with me today, I would have been bullied, Xia Shibei looked at her with a smile, her eyes shimmering brightly. Song Jiaren's face turned red under the stare Xia Shibei was giving her. She averted her eyes in embarrassment and coughed softly. It's just because you are an easy target for bullies. That is why I have to thank you. Xia Shibei said sincerely, her smile wide. Although Song Jiaren didn't have a good reputation at school, she was a very adorable little girl indeed. A nice girl like her shouldn't be deceived by Yang Xian anymore. Actually, Lu Zhijing has a reason to dislike me, Xia Shibei remarked suddenly. Oh. What's her reason? Yang Xian is her cousin. What? exclaimed in Song Jiaren shock, cousins. Yes. Their mothers are cousins, so they get along very well. Xia Shibei didn't know either until recently. Only then did she begin to understand why Yang Xian would even bother to pursue the introverted, quiet girl that she had once been. In fact, if they were to be precise, Lu Zhijing and Xia Shibei were cousins too, although very distant ones at that. Lu Zhijing's aunt didn't like Xia Shibei, who was her stepdaughter. Even though they had no direct interactions and seldom met each other, Xia Shibei's existence was still an eyesore to her. Knowing this, Lu Zhijing bullied Xia Shibei to gain her aunt's favor. The more miserable Xia Shibei's life was, the happier they were. They are cousins. Song Jiaren was still taken aback by the matter. You are kidding, right? What's the point of telling you such a joke? Xia Shibei raised her brows. I suppose Lu Zhijing got to know about what happened to Yang Xian's family. That's why she had so much hostility towards me. In fact, Lu Zhijing and her mates didn't know about it at all. They had come out right after classes ended and didn't get to witness the drama in time. Lu Zhijing's hostility towards Xia Shibei was long dot standing, although they didn't have much opportunity for interaction. They were too much, weren't they? Song Jiaren asked indignantly. It was all Yang Xian's family's fault. How dare she find a reason to blame you? Moreover, Yang Xian isn't even a good person. Not only did he not return the money he had borrowed, he even had several girlfriends at once. A real scumbag, indeed. As she spoke, Song Jiaren got angrier and angrier. Her relationship with Yang Xian had begun not long ago, so she was still far from having profound feelings for him. That was why she could quickly untangle herself from the relationship, right after the incident happened. If they had been together for a year or two, Yang Xian would certainly deceive a naive little girl like Song Jiaren with his scheming tactics, tricking her into thinking that she couldn't live without him. Yes, Yang Xian is a scumbag. Besides, those relatives of his are also no good. Xia Shibei nodded in agreement. A family like that could never raise a good child. You're right. Song Jiaren agreed vehemently. But Jiaren, you are different, Xia Shibei said, changing the subject swiftly, your parents must be very good people. Chapter 52 We are here to deliver food you are listening at novelfull.audio. Xia Shibei's words startled Song Jiaren. What dot do you mean? I think your parents must be great. Song Jiren's face turned gloomy, asking, Haven't you heard about my family? I have, Xia Shibei nodded. Then what did you mean by that? Were you mocking me? Song Jiren demanded, her face twisting with rage. 
As far as the students knew, Song Jiaren's father was the chief of a gang, a man that couldn't be messed with. Was Xia Shibei being sarcastic by calling her parents good people? Why would I? Xia Shibei flashed her an indulgent smile. It's not like I haven't experienced such pointless rumors. I was called a jinx just a while ago, remember? In her first life, Xia Shibei believed the sayings about the Song family too. After all, Song Jiaren was too ferocious. This time, however, she wouldn't be so ignorant. You're a very adorable girl who's loyal to her friends, so your parents must be great people too. As for the rumors, I'm sure people are clueless. They don't know what they're talking about. Song Jiaren's cheeks turned red as she met that sincere gaze and heard those enthusiastic words. You, you. How, how am I adorable? This was the very first time someone had called her adorable, causing Song Jiaren to sputter. Nonetheless, she felt a stream of warmth flowing within her, as though she was being soaked in warm water. It was very soothing. You really are adorable. Xia Shibei insisted, and I assure you, once you lose some weight, you'll be a great beauty. Xia Shibei had met Song Jiaren's mother before and she was a true beauty. It was a pity that Song Jiaren was overweight, even her facial features were indiscernible. Really? Song Jiaren asked, her face flushed red. Dot as far as girls were concerned, Recognition from people of the same gender was of greater importance than that from anyone else, especially from beauties like Xia Shibei. The joy Song Jiaren felt when being called a beauty by her almost made her soar into the sky. Of course. I wouldn't lie to you. All right, let's go back as soon as we can, and I'll show you some results tonight. Xia Shibei held on to Song Jiaren and they found a store that sold bathtubs soon enough. After making the payment, they told the store owner to send the bathtub to the house. Only then did the two of them leave Zhonghang Avenue. Upon reaching home, Xia Shibei began to prepare some herbs. Very soon, however, there was a knock on the door. I think the bathtub is here. Xia Shibei called out. However, she was startled when the door was opened. Who are you? Standing in front of her were two young men dressed in suits, each of them carrying a lunchbox in their hands. Hello, Miss Xia. We are here to deliver your food, the two of them replied respectfully, holding back the urge to glance around the narrow, dim little room. Deliver food. Song Jiaren approached them. Whoa, since when have food couriers started dressing people so formally? Their attire made them look like office workers. Did all food couriers dress like that nowadays? The two of them did not get angry despite being mistaken for food couriers. Rather, they smiled and asked, May we go inside? Who sent you here? Xia Shibei didn't budge, but already had an idea in the back of her mind. It was Mr. Chiao who sent us. Just as expected. Xia Shibei kept quiet for a while, eventually nodding, All right then come inside. No problem. The two of them heaved a sigh of relief, feeling the tension in the air disappear. They felt so much more relaxed now. As she watched them opening the lunchboxes, revealing the cuisine inside, Song Jiaren's eyes grew wider and wider. My goodness. This is too much. Are you feeding pigs? The amount of food could feed at least four to five people. Enjoy your meal. After properly placing the lunchboxes, the two of them offered a light bow and left in a hurry. Chapter 53 A Men's Problem You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Song Jiaren was even more shocked when she saw the lunchboxes. This is food from Jia Yao, she exclaimed, her face full of surprise. This must have cost at least a few thousand. Jia Yao was a well. known restaurant. Their dishes were delicious, but their prices weren't very affordable. Song Jiaren liked the food from this restaurant, but why would anyone deliver such expensive food to Xia Shibei? Song Jiaren knew Xia Shibei's life story. 
Even if she hadn't before, she understood after Lu Zhijing's explanation. Xia Shibei's parents didn't love her, so she lived on her own and worked to make money for herself. In that case, how could Xia Shibei have afforded such expensive food? It was sent by a wealthy patient I helped before, Xia Shibei explained, her expression not changing. She hadn't exactly lied. Xiao Yinjue was a patient she had once saved. Wow, so rich. Song Jiaren widened her eyes. What was he sick from? You can't tell anyone. Xia Shibei warned, suddenly turning mysterious. I'm not the gossipy kind. Song Jiaren patted her chest. It was. The most insufferable problem for men. A problem for men. Im, impotence. Jiaren Song took a breath, hurriedly covering her mouth. Don't tell anyone. Xia Shibei repeated. Okay. I will never tell anyone. Song Jiaren nodded quickly, sympathizing with the man named Xiao. As a man, if his male ability had something wrong with it, then was he still a man? How is he now? she asked anxiously. He is fine now, of course. Xia Shibei patted her chest and said. As soon as I worked on him as an expert, there were no more problems. Song Jiaren looked at her with surprise and a little bit of admiration, that's amazing. Of course. So, don't worry. Your problem is only a small one. Song Jiaren felt more confident hearing her say this. Should we start now? she asked eagerly. Let's eat first. I'm also hungry. Xia Shibei only had a bread roll for lunch, so she was starving. If the food was here, why not eat it? Okay. Let's eat. But. Wouldn't I get fat? Song Jiaren looked at the food, coveting it but trying hard to resist. She would definitely gain weight if she ate all this. It's okay, I will help you lose weight if you get fat. Xia Shibei took out utensils and put them into her hand. You don't believe me. I do. Song Jiaren nodded. But. No buts. Let's eat. Xia Shibei sat down and started to feast, nodding with satisfaction as she ate. Sure enough, there were advantages to the expensive prices. These meals did taste really good. Song Jiaren was tempted by the food, but she forced herself to stop after eating only some. Then her eyes grew bigger. Xia Shibei had finished all of the leftover food, unable to even close her mouth. What the? How did Xia Shibei eat all of that? Song Jiaren ate only a single portion and there was enough food left over for a few more people, but it was all eaten by Xia Shibei. Geez, was her stomach a black hole? What? Aren't you stuffed? Song Jiaren looked at her with a confused expression. Not stuffed at all, Xia Shibei smiled, but I'm fine. Her body wasn't in great condition yet. She still needed a lot of nutrition. She could handle hunger, but she would also eat this much if she could. Song Jiaren was impressed, noting that Xia Shibei did not seem to have a problem. After the meal, the washtub was delivered. Chapter 54 Don't treat me like a fool you are listening at novelfull.audio. The next morning, Xia Shibei returned to school refreshed after her morning exercises. As soon as she got to the school entrance, she saw Song Jiaren rush over to her in excitement. Bei Bei. Song Jiaren gave Xia Shibei a hug. Her name also went from the unfamiliar whole name to the intimate Bei Bei. Song Jiaren's excitement was beyond words. When she got up this morning, she found her clothes were drenched in sweat, but she felt really good. After taking a shower and weighing herself, she was stunned. In just one night, she had lost three jean. Three jean. She couldn't lose one jean even after jogging for days. But she had gotten results like this after just a 20-minute medicinal bath. As she slept last night, her body had been detoxing automatically. Now she felt as light as a bird. Xia Shibei really knew her stuff. 
she wanted to hug her and turn in circles. Even though three Jean wasn't much to her sizable figure, it made her see hope. She really could be skinny. Well, don't get so excited. You'll be even thinner in the future, Xia Shibei patted her arm, walking ahead with a smile. There were quite a few students at school in the morning, all of them surprised by the intimate demeanor of the two of them. When did Xia Shibei get so friendly with Song Jiaren? At the school gate, Yang Xian walked in with a haggard face. Yesterday, his parents had been taken to the police precinct and had to be detained for a few days. Even though it was just a few days, it had been a huge blow to Yang Xian. He actually didn't want to come to school at all. After all, this was very embarrassing, since everyone must be discussing the matter. However, if he didn't come to school, what would Song Jiaren do? He couldn't give up on Song Jiaren. However, he didn't think that as soon as he got to school, he would see Song Jiaren and Xia Shibei acting so affectionate. BVEC this made him panic. Xia Shibei wouldn't tell Song Jiaren about their business, would she? If Song Jiaren knew he was two dot timing her, he'd be over. Sister Jiaren of Qingyi High School wasn't a good person to anger. No. Absolutely not. Thinking of this, he went to look for Song Jiaren right away. Jiaren Song was so happy because she had lost a few jean, but when she turned around and saw Yang Xian, her face suddenly became gloomy. Jia Jia, Yang Xian said, looking affectionate, I have something to tell you. What is there to say? Song Jiaren asked, her expression ugly. In fact, she still liked Yang Xian. After all, he treated her well and was the first boy to pursue her, making him even more special. However, her heart hardened, thinking of what Xia Shibei told her about Yang Xian's behavior. It's about yesterday, he explained, his face bitter. Yesterday. Song Jiaren's face got dark. I know about yesterday. You don't have to tell me anything. No. What you saw wasn't true. Yang Xian said anxiously, it wasn't like what you saw at all. Not like what? Song Jiaren looked at him head dot on. You didn't borrow Bei Bei's money and tried not to pay it back. You weren't two dot timing people. Your parents didn't make a mess at school because of this. I, Yang Xian was speechless. Before he could continue to explain, Song Jiaren shook her fist at him. Don't treat me like a fool. I won't deal with you now, but if you ever show up near me in the future, I won't let you off so easily. Then she turned and left. Chapter 55 What's the next move? You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Yang Xian was very anxious. Although he didn't like Song Jiaren, he couldn't afford to give up the benefits that came with her. There were many girls in school, and there wasn't a shortage of pretty or wealthy girls either. However, those girls wouldn't necessarily like him. His tricks might not work with them. Song Jiaren was fat and ugly, which made her the easiest target around. But now that Xia Shibei had drawn Song Jiaren to her side, what would he do? Yang Xian was so troubled that he didn't even notice people pointing at him and making comments. Right after returning to the classroom, his phone vibrated. He took it out for a look, seeing it was a message from Lu Zhijing. Yang Xian agreed to Lu Zhijing's suggestion to meet up. Right after morning class ended, he went up to the rooftop, which was their secret meeting spot. What's the matter with you and Xia Shibei? Upon arriving, Lu Zhijing immediately began questioning him with a cold, hard face. How do I know what's wrong with that B asterisk TCH? Yang Xian shouted, equally angry and frustrated. All the trouble and suffering he had gone through these past two days was all thanks to Xia Zibi. His reputation was ruined, and his parents had been detained. Also, they even paid back $20,000. When he had only borrowed 10000 most importantly, Xia Shibei had built a rapport with Song Jiaren. Weren't you getting along with her? How did it all turn out like this? Lu Zhijing had only heard about what happened to Yang Xian yesterday when she returned to the school this morning. 
the news had surprised her a lot. Yang Xian and Xia Shibei were a couple obviously, so how did the matter even turn out so badly? Sure enough, Lu Zijing knew about Yang Xian's relationship with Xia Shibei. After all, she had put in such a great deal of effort into it. After getting together with Yang Xian, Xia Shibei had to work harder to earn a living. The only free time she had left had to be spent with Yang Xian as well, which left her even less time to study. In other words, Xia Shibei's situation would continue getting worse. At least that was Lu Zijing's aim. Who would have expected things to take such a drastic turn after just one day? Dot Yang Xian was the one getting embarrassed now, along with those strange parents of his. How would I know? Yang Xian demanded, yesterday, she wanted to break up with me all of a sudden, and even made me pay her back. She even beat me up. Beat you up? Lu Zijing asked with shock, how did she even do that? I don't know when that Lil B asterisk TCH got all that prowess. Most importantly, she denied having done it afterwards. When he recounted what had happened, Yang Xian felt the oppressive feeling in his chest intensify. This was the first time he had got beaten up. And no one believed him about it in the end. She has such prowess. Lu Zijing was stunned as well. Xia Shibei had been such an easy target for bullies. How did she change into a whole different person within such a short time? As she recalled how Xia Shibei had bickered with her yesterday, Lu Zijing understood it all. Xia Shibei has been fawning over Song Jiaren now, are you aware of that? It must have been Song Jiaren who gave Xia Shibei such bravery and confidence. I saw it just now, Yang Xian said with worry. And she even told Song Jiaren lots of bad things about me. What did she say? Song Jiaren knew about me having several girlfriends at once now. Yang Xian's face was ashen gray. What? Lu Zijing asked, startled. Continuing with a frown, she prodded, what was Song Jiaren's reaction after that? She asked me not to look for her anymore, otherwise, she won't have any mercy on me. Yang Xian's shoulders hunched as he talked. What should I do now? He was reluctant to leave Song Jiaren. And the wealth that she represented. She didn't hit or scold you? Lu Zijing asked. No, Yang Xian shook his head. Lu Zijing's eyes lit up suddenly, exclaiming, If that's the case, things are very easy to settle. Chapter 56 Put up a heroic show you are listening at novelfull.audio Easy to settle Yang Xian looked at her with doubt and a little bit of displeasure. How can it still be easy to settle at this point of time? Are you stupid? Lu Zijing berated him, you're not a girl, that's why you're clueless. But I know. If Song Jiaren reacted that way, it means she still has feelings for you. Really? Yang Xian asked, even more puzzled than before. If she had no feelings for you at all, she would have sent someone to teach you a lesson by now. Lu Zijing explained. Therefore, there is still a chance to turn things around. As he listened to her, Yang Xian came to his senses as well, beaming with surprise. Yes. You must be right. Although he didn't like Song Jiaren, thinking she was too fat and revolting, he understood her character regardless. He knew that she was quite kind-hearted and gentle. In fact, she wasn't really as ferocious and evil as how people described her. Therefore, he just had to take advantage of that, and things might turn around for him. But. What am I supposed to do? Yang Xian asked, troubled once again. It's simple. Lu Zijing flashed a cunning smile. We could put up a heroic show. A heroic show? Yes. Lu Zijing was thrilled. If you rescue her when she's in danger, she will certainly become hell.bent on staying with you. Once she becomes obsessed with you again, she won't take Xia Shibei's words seriously anymore. Lu Zijing was a girl, so she knew that some girls became blind once they fell in love. By then, nothing from the outside world could influence them anymore. 
But, what danger can there be? Yang Xian was still helpless. Don't forget that she's much more capable than I am. Putting aside Song Jiaren's martial strength, her size alone was enormous. Who would be foolish enough to even lay a finger on her? Are you stupid or what? Lu Zijing asked in frustration, can't you just create some danger yourself? That. Yang Xian hesitated. That isn't easy though. Song Jiaren's father was the well-known head of a gang in their area, so who would dare to harm his daughter? Come on, just how powerful can the Song family be? They're not invincible. Lu Zijing remarked contemptuously. Even though the Songs were renowned, they still had a long way to go to gain real prestige and influence in this world. It was only because the place wasn't big that the Songs could behave so rampantly. Even if they aren't invincible, there's no way we could do it, Yang Xian argued, brows deeply furrowed. We can't find anyone here. Why don't you ever use your brain? Lu Zijing shot back, looking at him in disgust. We can find people somewhere else if we can't find them here. Where? If we can't find people in our area, we can go to other areas. The songs can't be that influential, can they? Looking at Lu Zijing's confident manner, Yang Xian felt reassured once again. After discussing the matter and deciding on their next moves, they went downstairs for classes. On her way back to the classroom, Lu Zijing passed by the third class of sophomore year and caught sight of Xia Shibei. She couldn't help but sneer. Once they regained Song Jiaren's favor, Xia Shibei would lose her support. Then she would see whether Xia Shibei could keep behaving arrogantly. As she recalled the slap that Song Jiaren gave her yesterday, Lu Zijing felt even more ashamed inside. And it had all been because of Xia Shibei. Xia Shibei happened to look up and met Lu Zijing's resentful gaze, flashing a bright smile at her. It caught Lu Zijing off guard. Chapter 57 The show is starting you are listening at novel full dot audio. Lu Zijing was startled by Xia Shibei's bright smile, finally returning it with a smug smile. Xia Shibei raised her eyebrows. When she moved her hand, there was a bird beside the window. Soon, from the mouth of the bird, she understood why Lu Zijing smiled so proudly. Thinking of this, she gave Lu Zijing a sarcastic and provocative smile, patting her own face lightly. Lu Zijing's face instantly darkened, but before she could say anything, the teacher arrived, so she had to return to her own classroom unhappily. When Lu Zijing sat in her seat and thought of Xia Shibei's provocation, her face became even gloomier. What is it? Xia Qinghan asked in a low voice. Nothing, she shook her head. I just thought of something. As long as you're okay. If you need help, remember to tell me. Okay. Watching Xia Qinghan, with her gentle smile and elegant demeanor, Lu Zijing hated Xia Shibei even more. Xia Qinghan was the best star, while Xia Shibei was motherless and fatherless trash who was better off hiding in a corner. Outside, a few more birds appeared by the window, chirping very lively. Xia Shibei sat near the window. When she stretched out her hand and waved, the birds scattered. Why are the birds so happy today? Tang Luo asked in confusion. There were normally a lot of birds here, but today they seem to be extra excited, seemingly never stopping their chirping. Maybe something good happened. Xia Shibei crinkled her eyes. The weather is nice, isn't it? Tang Luo looked at her suspiciously, not understanding the connection between the two. However, he didn't have much time to think about it. The monthly exam was the next day and their focus should be on studying. Meanwhile, Xia Shibei looked at the blackboard with a faint smile on her lips. Just now, she saw Lu Zijing walking towards the rooftop, closely followed by Yang Xian, so she asked these birds to pay attention to their situation. Although the brains of these birds were small and they couldn't remember many things, Xia Shibei had quickly pieced together their plan from the birds' words. A hero saved a damsel in distress. Ha, like they had the skills to be heroes. 
While Xia Shibei didn't think that they would give up on Song Jiaren so easily, she did not expect that they would use such stupid tricks. If they wanted to play a game, then she'd make sure it was a good one. She'd give them a chance to perform. With that plan in place, she focused all of her attention on studying. The monthly exam was the next day, and the top three students would receive scholarships. Before, Xia Shibei was far from the best, the scholarship not even on her mind. Now, however, the scholarship would be hers. Xia Shibei flipped through her books faster than she changed her facial expressions. In spite of Tang Luo's focus, he noticed her motions. Was she reading books or flipping through them? Tomorrow is the monthly exam, Tang Luo couldn't resist saying. I know. I'm reviewing right now, Xia Shibei replied, looking very serious. Dot Tang Luo could only remain silent, full of confusion. Fine. She could do whatever she wanted. Soon, it was the afternoon. Xia Shibei had received a message from Song Jiaren saying that she had to deal with something first, so she would go to her house later. She already knew the address, she could go over by herself later on. Xia Shibei replied with a received, showing a mischievous smile. Then she used the bird's guidance to go to the location where the hero would save the damsel. The show would be starting soon. Chapter 58 I have to protect you you are listening at novel full dot audio. It was an alley behind the school, and unlike the hustle and bustle by the front entrance, very few pedestrians passed here. Usually there were some delinquents fighting in the area, so students rarely came to this area. This was where Song Jiaren usually chose to solve her problems, so she didn't feel nervous here at all. However, she didn't expect that after waiting here for a while, Several men would appear in front of her. Are you Song Tianqin's daughter? The leader, a man with droopy eyes, looked at her with ill intentions in his eyes. Who are you? Seeing these tall men, Song Jiaren felt nervous. She continued asking vigilantly, What do you want? She questioned them while carefully looking around, trying to look for an escape. Not much. I just wanted to talk to you. The man smiled grotesquely, and those next to him also smiling. Song Jiaren's heart felt heavier after seeing their smiles. If they dared to touch her after knowing who her father was, that meant this wasn't an easy fix. If you do anything to me, my father will make you pay, she shouted at them. Although she had learned some fighting skills, she was still a girl, and it would not be easy to deal with these men. Then ask your dad to come get us, the man taunted waving his hand, after which the people next to him immediately surrounded him. Song Jiaren decisively turned back and ran away. Get her. Song Jiaren's face paled when she heard footsteps coming behind her. Her large figure made her movements difficult, so they caught up to her in just a little while. Stupid fatty, why don't you run? The leader grinned maliciously, adding, just be good, we'll treat you well. Aha. A voice sounded from behind them and a figure rushed out, waving a stick. Jia Jia, run! Yang Xian shouted as he waved the stick randomly. Hell, where did this kid come from? Get him, the leader yelled, his face darkening. Be no L de M, yes. The others shouted as they rushed toward Yang Xian. No, Song Jiaren widened her eyes and looked at the scene in horror. She wanted to rush over but was stopped. I'm warning you, I've already called the police. They will be here in less than two minutes. Yang Xian shouted, still waving the stick to block their movements. What's with this kid? Trying to be a hero. Beat him, the boss ordered. The others rushed up, taking away Yang Xian's stick and punching him a few times. Arc. Yang Xian was beaten black and blue screaming again and again, but he still desperately tried to make Song Jiaren leave. Jia Jia, run! Song Jiaren's eyes could have burst from anger, but she didn't know what to do. While she was conflicted, the sound of police sirens rang, coming closer and closer. Damn! This kid really called the police, the leader yelled, you're pretty fierce. Shaking his head, 
he waved his hand, let's go. The other men acted decisively, quickly departing the scene. Seeing them leave, Song Jiaren's beating heart finally calmed down. Looking at Yang Xian, who was on the ground, she immediately rushed over to help him. How are you? Are you okay? I'm okay, Yang Xian, who was bruised and swollen, said while looking worried. Are you okay? They didn't hit you, did they? I'm fine, Song Jiaren shook her head. Why are you acting so stupid? I asked to meet you here. I didn't think this would happen, Yang Xian said while looking resigned, but I had to protect you. The words made Song Jiaren's heart beat fast again. Chapter 59 Yang Xian's Explanation You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Song Jiaren was moved by Yang Xian's words. Although it was Yang Xian who suggested that they met up here in the first place, no one could have expected such an incident to befall her. It wasn't Yang Xian's fault that those people had turned up. After all, they had sounded like they were here because of her father. Even if Yang Xian wasn't around, they would still have found a chance to harm her. On the contrary, it was precisely because of Yang Xian that those people left. Having thought that, the look in Song Jiaren's eyes turned tender as she looked at Yang Xian. As he noticed the change in Song Jiaren, Yang Xian got excited. The plan was working. Are you all right? He asked affectionately, they didn't hurt you, did they? No, Song Jiaren shook her head, helping him off of the ground. Ouch. Yang Xian grimaced in pain but shook his head when Song Jiaren offered to get him help. I'm fine, it's just some surface level injuries. Dot, no, that's not fine, let me take you to see a doctor. Song Jiaren looked at Yang Xian worriedly, afraid he was hurt. I'm really fine, Yang Xian shook his head. As long as you're willing to listen to me, I won't feel any pain. Song Jiaren paused for a second. What do you want to say? You must have heard about yesterday's matter, Yang Xian forced out with a wry smile. Yes, I learned about it already. Speaking about the matter, Song Jiaren's mood turned a little gloomy, her face twisting at the memory of finding out. But those are only rumors. Yang Xian insisted through gritted teeth, I never thought Xia Shibei would be so shameless. What do you mean? Song Jiaren asked, her face falling. Yang Xian pretended not to notice Song Jiaren's displeasure, carrying on with his explanation. In fact, I was on good terms with Xia Shibei previously. You two were really a couple. Song Jiaren questioned, squinting in a menacing way. She had heard about Yang Xian and Xia Shibei being a couple earlier on, which was why she went to look for Xia Shibei yesterday. However, she hadn't expected Xia Shibei to deny it so decisively. The series of events that occurred afterwards didn't match up with what she had heard either. Of course, we aren't. Yang Xian shook his head immediately, all we have is a little kinship. Oh. Song Jiaren didn't expect Yang Xian to spontaneously admit to that though. Lu Zhijing was related to Xia Shibei, and Yang Xian were relatives with Lu Zhijing. To be precise, they shared some kinship indeed. Although it's a very distant connection, we are indeed relatives. However, she has never received any love and care from her parents. She's been lonely and isolated all this time, so I cared for her, Yang Xian explained without inflection. What about the money, then? I get so mad just talking about it. Yang Xian stated furiously. In fact, she consigned the money to me for safekeeping. Safekeeping? Yes, Yang Xian asserted, seeming very indignant, she said that she was saving up for college, but was afraid that she would spend the money, so she handed it to me for safekeeping. All she gave me was $10,000, but in the end, she claimed that I had borrowed $20,000. Yang Xian's chest hurt just by talking about the matter. That was $20,000. His parents were utterly shamed just because of those $20,000. So that's what actually happened. Song Jiaren whispered, astounded by the explanation. I didn't know she scammed people for money in such a way until now. 
How obnoxious, Yang Xian replied with gritted teeth. What's the matter with you and Jin Yajin, then? Song Jiaren questioned again. I, Jin Yajin and Xia Shibei are good friends, that's why I had some interactions with her. But we don't get along often. Yang Xian's heart missed a beat, but he remained unruffled on the surface. Chapter 60 It was just for show you are listening at novelfull.audio. You guys really don't get together often. Song Jiaren looked at him through squinted eyes, filled with both intimidation and suspicion. Of course, we don't. Yang Xian shook his head resolutely, Jin Yajin and Xia Shibei are good friends, that's how we got into contact. He was determined to hold on to that explanation and deny their relationship until the very end. Even if Song Jiaren went to find Jin Yajin, Jin Yajin wouldn't blow his cover. If she did admit, both of them would be finished. Looking at Yang Xian's resolute attitude, Song Jiaren couldn't help but begin to doubt what had happened earlier. Seeing that she was moved, Yang Xian immediately added, I think I saw you getting along well with Xia Shibei recently. You'd better be careful not to be cheated by her. How would she cheat me? I didn't understand why her parents didn't like her before, but now I know. Who would like a person who's full of lies? Yang Xian said with a solemn look. Don't believe anything that she tells you, she's just too much. What would she tell me? Well, for one thing, me borrowing her money and that nonsense about me being in a relationship with someone else. Yang Xian listed off, sounding righteous even to himself. She's trying to get me in trouble. You really aren't in a relationship with someone else. Of course, I'm not. Yang Xian shook his head continuously. How could I even fall for someone else when I'm with you? Don't you think I'm fat and ugly? You are kind of fat, Yang Xian nodded, hurriedly continuing before Song Jiaren could get mad, but you aren't ugly at all. Plump girls like you are so adorable. I happen to be fond of that body shape. Looking at his serious, intent countenance, Song Jiaren felt a little warmth in her heart. Who wouldn't be happy if they were praised in that manner by someone of the opposite sex? You really aren't lying to me, she asked once again, just to make sure. Of course not. Yang Xian vowed, raising a hand, if I lie to you, let me be knocked down by a car. A toy car, he added inwardly, just to be safe. However, his words had the intended effect, making Song Jiaren's face soften a lot. Fine, I believe. Before she could finish, a series of hectic footsteps approached them from afar. Eddie Eat looking up in that direction, their faces fell. It was the same people as earlier, all of them wearing awful looks on their faces. The man in the lead dashed toward them with wide strides, giving Yang Xian a brutal slap on his face. God de asterisk in it. How dare you fool us, you little brat. Both Song Jiaren and Yang Xian were stunned by the scene unfolding before their eyes. Why had they returned? You guys. Before Yang Xian could finish, he got another harsh slap. Didn't you say it was just a show, and that no one would find out? I freaking believed your nonsense. The chief seemed very battered, bruises present all over his face. It seemed that he had been badly beaten up, the guys behind him not faring any better. The chief's face was dark and gloomy, fighting the urge to murder Yang Xian, especially when he thought of the people that they had just met. A show. Song Jiaren exclaimed in jaw-dot-dropping shock. Ms. Song, we are really sorry. We didn't mean it. We were just acting. We had no intentions to harm you at all, the chief said apologetically. Then, pointing at Yang Xian in rage, he revealed the truth. It was all his intention. He wanted us to help him put on a show of heroism. He even assured us that there would be no problem at all, as no one was going to look into what we did. If not for that, we wouldn't have dared to treat you with the slightest bit of disrespect. The chief's words made Song Jiaren freeze in utter horror. It had all just been a show arranged by Yang Xian, with the help of these people. 